Well, uh, hi, fellow uh, retro nerds. Uh, if you've been to this channel before, you know I have a, a, a menagerie of, of stupid things that I do. You can see the guitars. So I've done some music stuff. Um, you can see the beautiful Coke machine. I've done an unboxing video of that. I do a lot of um, video game stuff. And um, what I wanted to do today is um, I finally uh, jumped on the old bandwagon, I guess, and got me one of these beautiful Atari retro video game system. What was this thing? This is my arcade makes this? Yeah, my arcade makes this. Um, I have not personally bought any of my arcade stuff before. Um, I have done un, uh, videos where I took an Atari Flashback X and and basically modded it, put uh, an SD card and um, you'd have to look at it. I'll, 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 maybe I'll put a link to the video in here. Um, but I used somebody else's program because I'm not that smart. Um, to to mod it so that it played every Atari game that ever existed. So I decided to get one of these because it just looks cool. I like I don't need it. I got an Atari that plays every game there is. But this I have heard tell, even though it says right there, 200 games. I have heard that you can put an SD card in it and more or less do the same thing. So I'm gonna open this and uh, we're gonna hook it up. Um, depending on how long this is, I might just do the video of the unboxing itself and then do another video later of the modding. So let's just see how this goes. I got my, uh, my special opening knife. Now, I wasn't going to get this at first. Um, the reason I did get it is I saw it, I saw it for cheap. Same thing with the Atari. When I, when I saw the Atari, I'm like, well, do I really need one? Um, I have an original Atari. Um, I have a shit ton of old cartridges, which I guess if I had the 2600 plus, that'd be great, but I'm not, I'm probably not going to get that. But, um, I like when you can take something retro, we'll say, and, um, make it like when I had an Atari, all, all you ever wanted was to have every Atari and they're still making Atari games. Um, this thing to me is pretty cool. Like I almost wanted to get that, uh, that Kickstarter Atari that came out last year and it had newer versions of stuff um but i kind of waited and waited and i'm like yeah I'm not getting this. Um, but the atari flashback was great because it was so well it was easy for a monkey to do um to, to mod it to play all the games um and if you watch that video you would know i'm talking about um, great programming but this thing here what i like about it just from looking at the other videos of things is you know you get your uh leds around here and in there and it's actually got a little, uh, it's got a paddle controller on it, which I couldn't make my Atari flashback do. So that's kind of interesting to me. So let's, uh, let's just open this thing up. I'm going to have to adjust this thing somehow to show the opening. Oh man, it's got really good packaging though. Uh, take the video off of me because nobody really wants to see that anyways. And, uh, let's go down here. Wow. I'm so good with the camera. Anyway, so we got, what is this? That's a nice box. I like it. Maybe it's instructions. Maybe it's, uh, maybe there's a sandwich in here. I don't know. The user guide. I might get to that. You never know. People my age, we don't read instructions. If we do, we do it like this. Uh, if you saw my other videos. Okay, so that's a nice box. You got your, uh, oh, the old, uh, if you were to buy all of these, okay. It's like a checklist. So if you want to get all the, uh, the pocket players and whatnot that they have, that's what this is. And you can actually check it out, which I'm, I'm not going to do that, but, um, interesting. Put that over here for safekeeping. And, ooh, a certificate. It's it's an actual, it's real. It's a certificate of authenticity that this thing that I'm holding in my hands is actually here. Okay, so you got a, a nice piece of clear plastic. There, there are better videos than this. You got your, uh, you got an HDMI, which I, I don't necessarily need. A couple of joysticks feel that feels pretty good okay over there 
Hold on a second. I had to readjust the uh, the camera, so because nobody really wants to see any of this. Okay, so you got two of those. You got uh, one of these. Feels pretty good, pretty solid. And I do see. Well, there's an HDMI. There's your. There's an actual reset. And oh, good. There's somebody's hair on this, which didn't exactly thrill me. Put that away. Over here. <clears throat> on off home. Now, oh, there it is. Micro SD. Now, I just happen to have a micro SD sitting here waiting to be used. So, once I got this thing uh, hooked up, I might have to get into that. So, here's your USB power. And then under here, I bet there's a big pile of nothing. Yep, nothing. All right. Well, I'm going to hook it up. I won't bore you with that part. But I'll hook it up here in a second, and I'll continue this, okay? All right, so I got it all hooked up. I'm over here. Um, I'm just going to turn it on now. I only, I'm going to tell you right now. What I don't like is that you have to put batteries in the joystick. But it looks pretty freaking cool. I like it. Now, uh, forgive my camera work as always. Um, I'm very ill-equipped, I guess. So... Turn this thing on. Okay, that's cool. Okay, so it's got like a great opening screen, kind of like, uh, well, the Atari flashback does when it's actually doing something. Now, I do love this, the little LED or LCD, which it also has on... Uh, this that now back to the bad camera work on the tv here i'll never get this thing perfect my apologies what did you pay for this okay so so uh see so you're getting your a button go down here bonus game well let's just see what's in the featured games these are your 200 games that come with it what i want to find out well i love it let's do a little adventure here do the speed run is that how you do it? How do you select? Where's your select? I'm going to say this one. Okay. Nope. All right. Uh -huh. Let's go kill this fucker right over here. Enjoy. And there should be a guy over here. And put that back. Get the black one. Good steering though, dumbass. Uh, let's see here. Well, this is where the. I'm just going by memory. Oh, I remember there's a bridge there. I should have taken the bridge, but I didn't take the bridge. All right, let's go this way. And there's that. And. The fabulous golden chalice, or whatever the hell you want to call it. Take the bridge this time. And that is the dish. Cool. I like it. Okay. Go back to the menu. What else we got? Aquaventure. Oh, it's the Atari 7800 Asteroids. Interesting. Let's see what that looks like. Nice. I never had a 7800. Um, the only way I've even seen these is for the uh, 2600 flashback that I put everything on. Come back home. What else we got? Oh, the... Ah, oh, arcade asteroids. Nice. I wonder if this needs the spinner. Okay, how do you? Nope, wrong one. How do you uh, pump quarters in this some bitch? Save menu. No, I do not want to save. Oh, 
See how dumb I am? Now, let's look at this. I didn't see that. So you got your A button, where my thumb is, A. And on top, you got your B button. And then there's even a, a trigger right here. So that's kind of cool. So I didn't know that you could actually control it that way. So how do you put coins in? That's what I want to know. Maybe if I had uh, read the instructions. How dumb I am. Spinner do anything? No. Okay. How do you move? Not that way. Is it the B button? That's the B button. Okay, so this is how you, you, you learn how to do stuff because uh, you're an idiot and didn't read the instructions. That's me. All right. Oh, so there's your choices. I didn't even realize that. So you got six or seven, oh, I guess six, uh, 5,200, bunch of 7,800. I want to try some paddle shit. What do we got here? Oh, it's doing breakout. I want to see how this paddle works. Okay. All right. Holy crap, it works great. I can't believe how good this works. Okay, until that. You know what? If I want to see if it has kaboom. I bet it doesn't. It doesn't. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, but Night Driver. Oh, I used to love this game when I was a kid. So, the graphics are just garbage. <laughs> All right, let's see how this goes. Oh, uh, yeah. Drive like an idiot. Oh, no, the carnage. Oh, no. I hit the line on the road. That was a nice house. All right. I remember this. Oh, look at that guy. Oh, that's too bad about him. I hope his family's okay. I believe he's insured. All right. That's cool. Let's go back. What else we got in here? Multiplayer. Yeah. Okay. How do I... Uh... I want to see what's in the arcade. A lot of... Well, you got Centipede. How's that going to work? Yeah, let's see that. One coin, one play. There it is. Okay, now this looks wonky. Control is pretty good. All right, now this should have bezels, so it kind of looks weird. What else we got? I like that the uh, music is playing in the background. I'm going to turn it up a bit. I'm enjoying the music. That's cool. Like That's what I love about that um, Atari flashback, the way the uh, people program that. The, uh, the mod had great music all right this will be yeah. so i'm guessing these are only atari arcade games which is fine i have no problem with that i like all this stuff this thing uh so far so far totally worth it totally worth it all right here we go I wonder if a spinner would work better. That doesn't work. All right. Um, yeah, I suck at this. Yeah, look at that. Okay, that's cool. Now, there's other little things I love about this thing. Now, if you're... You just want to screw around. I just found this out by accident. If you you hit this, it's like a sync button on here. And then the lights on both will be the same, which is freaking cool. I like it. I like it. I think it's pretty cool. Now, what I want to do here, just, uh, maybe I'll just turn this thing around. 
what I want to do, um, I'm going to put the uh, the SD card in it. And I might uh, try to do a little programming here and just see how this goes. Okay, hold on a minute. Okay, now my assumption is you're going to have to turn it off. So this is your, there it is. Okay, and I believe the SD card is in this general area. So I'm going to shove that thing in there. Yeah, right over there. I'm going to shove it in and uh, see what happens here. Okay, now the card is in. Now let's see what the difference is here. Yep, that still works the same. I kind of gave up on my tripod. It just didn't sit properly. So uh, let's see here. What we do is let's just go to what's in the settings here. Oh, even better. I'd love that. Oh, what about bezel art? All right. That's a good thing to know. Yeah. Put that back there. All right. And then uh, we'll put some bezels in. Okay. Oh, yeah, I totally want. Let's do that. Let's do another TV thing. And we'll try like uh, another arcade game. Let's see how that goes. Okay. What do I want? Well, let's see what Centipede looks like now. Oh, what was that? Cloud9. I don't even know that. Let's see what Centipede looks like now. Okay, that's slightly better. That's slightly better. Um, where do we go to save? Hold on. Okay, I'm going to give you the uh, condensed version of what just happened. You get yourself an SD card. You put it in your GameStation Pro. Um, you turn it on. You turn it off. <laughs> you can play around with it if you want. Um, and you turn it off again. You take the SD card out. You put it in your computer. You put a folder on it that says games. G-A-M-E-S. Games. That's where you put your ROMs. Now, if they're Atari 2600, they should have a dot .A26 at the end of them. If they're 5200, .52. Uh, 7800.78. You can put uh, arcade ROMs in it. Um, I've heard Nintendo work. Um, whatever you want to try. And uh, once you've done that, take that the uh, SD card out of your computer, put it back in the GameStation Pro, and then this is what you get. Turn on the TV. Turn on the GameStation. Turn on the joystick. Got the great opening. And there we go. Now it shows your SD card. Now, if you just want to use the SD card as um, a thing to save your high scores or your gameplay, whatever, go ahead and do that. I wanted to add games. So you put it on the micro SD card. And then it'll show you what you've got on here. Now, I put a shit ton of different games on it. Um, I put Atari 2600. I got 5200. I got 7800. I put a bunch of um, of arcade ROMs on it as well. They don't all work. I don't know why. It, it could be because of um, what version of MAME is on here. Um, which, if you don't know, that's the multi-arcade machine emulator. Which is used a lot in RetroPie. And they only work up to a certain point, or certain games don't work just because of whatever reason. So, um, here are the games. This is what's on it. It doesn't seem to be in the right order, in my opinion. But, um, just try a couple of games here. But you see the dot .A26. If you want to get really specific, you can put 2600 at the start of it. As long as the ROM has an A26, dot .A26 at the end, it should work. 
So this is what Congo Bongo looks like. Crap! Oh. Okay. Wow, that is awful. That is just, just awful. How are the boulders not hitting me? And is this... Maybe this is just a... Uh, like a pretend game. Like a... a Well, that sucked. He's not going to make it. Wow. Maybe it was just a prototype. I don't know. I never had that when I was young. Look at all these games. You got, uh, well, you got Crazy Climber. I hope you don't need both joysticks. You do not. Nice. Okay, what's next? You know, in the bottom, you see on the bottom right, uh, one of 388 pages. So I have 388 pages of 10 games. So, so it's 3,800. You can do whatever you want. It can experiment. Um, any games you want to try. Wow, that's a lot of good games. What's this travesty here? Oh, the original Donkey Kong, I think. What a piece of crap. I love this game. Wasn't hard. And... Boink. Oh, crap. Well, wasn't that hard. Uh, what else we got here? See that now there's also games that you never heard of. Hero. Oh, I loved Hero. This is a great game. I didn't have this when I was young. I had to, uh, I probably never had this until I had my Atari flashback, really. Of course, the old stinker standby here, Pac-Man. If you're under uh, if you're under fifty, maybe you've never seen this piece of crap. <laughs> oh my God, this is the best they can do with the old limitations of the Atari. I think I've seen a, a better version of this since on here. Um, now I have these kind of in an order. There's original ones then there was um uh hacks then there was the european versions of the atari games there's even well there's smurfs does that even work smurfs gargamel's castle i wonder if that's the uh like the coleco one it is you know and honestly if, if you remember the coleco one this is this is technically better but what's the other one Smurfs save the day. I wonder if it's even a game. It's probably just another prototype. This doesn't do anything. Yeah, I was just kind of flipping through stuff. I see a, a Super Congo Bong. I wonder if this one still sucks. Or if it even works. Okay. Well, I guess that's better. Somehow. Wow. How is that super? It's terrible. Slightly better. <laughs> just slightly better. Oh, I, I, I just had to uh, see what... I see all these boring... These are hacks, obviously. So I got boring, boring pitfall. So uh, the reason it's boring is because there are no logs. There are no snakes. There, there are no crocodiles, but so, I guess it's not really a crocodile, but you can't really jump on it, can you? Oh my God. Okay. I've, uh, gone forward to the, uh, 5,200 games. Let's uh, just check out one of these. I never had a 5200, so this is all new to me as well. 
Oh, that's not bad. That looks pretty good. I still suck. How about... Like, there's not a lot of 5200 games anyway, so I'll just go a little bit further here. 52, 52... 7800. Let's see what we got. Let's see. Uh, let's try Omaha Book Commando. I don't think I've ever seen this. Well, that is pretty arcade ish. Wow, that's actually really, really looks good. No, this is one where you should have a joystick that's, uh, or maybe two joysticks. That's pretty good. Okay, now I know there wasn't a lot of those as well. So I'm just going to go this way. Now I don't know why it has NES. I just saw NES, but there's still Atari games. I know they are. Um, I'm just going to go a little further. Oh, uh, I wonder if this works. Have you seen this? Have you? Oh, God. If you haven't seen this, I'm sorry. Don't watch this with your kids. Yes, that's what exactly what you think it is. But does it work? Oh, it does work. Somehow. I wish... Oh, the paddle doesn't work, though. Okay, look at this. Now, this, this is exactly what you think it is. If you're still watching this, you're going to hell as well. Oh, this thing. Oh, my God. Uh, okay, that's enough of that. You just got to get out of there. Oh, my God. I'm not ashamed. Are you? Well, a little bit. Now, this one, it's all hit and miss. You don't know for sure. Um, this one I just tested a second ago to see if it works. So, it, it does. And here we are. So, you got your opening screen. Like, it... it if you open up an arcade yourself in the 80s and you turn them all on in the morning, this is what you'd see. All right. Doodly 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 do. Uh, I didn't even know this was even a, a real game until I was older. I had a VIC-20 and it had this, but you're a rat. You're a dirty rat. Yeah, I was just scrolling through some more of these. I found, uh, I think it's Popeye. I'm assuming it's Popeye. If it works. That looks very Popeye-ish. Oh, yeah. All right. Let me get some of this. Bluto. Yeah, you run like the bitch that you are. Yeah, jackass. I'm straight to the finish because I eats me spinach, you jackass. Oh, yeah, that was fun. Um, I, I think this thing is totally worth it. Um, if you can find it on sale. I don't know what it cost. I, got, I paid 100 bucks for it, um, Canadian. So that's like 10 cents American, I guess. Um, but for what it is, it, it looks really cool. It's, I like flashing lights. Um, when you go to the home menu, it's got great music playing. The joysticks look really freaking cool. Um, if you can find this thing for a, a, a deal, um, I think it's perfectly great. The SD card doesn't cost a lot. Um, put your own ROMs on it your own roms um for i paid 100 bucks for this actually my girlfriend did uh 100 bucks and uh i think i had the sd card sitting around so it was maybe 20 bucks for an sd card i'm not sure and i had the roms on my computer so for let's say 100 bucks 110 bucks 
you can oh plus battery um you got yourself very well every atari game ever you could put on here and uh, you have a new way of playing it because you got this great new joystick which feels good it has not only the regular button on the left but it has a button on top and also has a trigger button right here and then you of course you got your uh, your menu buttons on on the thing and it also comes with this great uh, little light show Ooh, look at that Ooh, lights and it, and it syncs with those that's pretty cool um so i would highly uh highly recommend this thing just if you don't have an atari already i have every atari thing ever i have every flashback ever um i'm still working on it <laughs> i took an intellivision flashback and ripped it apart and i'm still pieing that thing to make that into a nothing but intellivision video system so it's always cool to have everything um if you're a fan of retro games and i'm a fan of retro games so it's it's great to just hook up one thing and have everything there at your fingertips um especially if you're younger you probably don't care as much but if you're old like me um it's it's cooler to have every game available right now um at your fingertips and then you can just flip through them like you used to do uh with uh the cable box on saturday afternoon that's all i'm saying so anyways thumbs up for me uh for the atari uh the my arcade atari 50th anniversary what do you want to call this thing the i guess it is more or less kind of um for the 50th anniversary of atari it's a great unit looks good it uh, feels solid it uh, has great joysticks i like the fact that it has a, a paddle on it so you don't have to get extra paddles for it so that's really good so uh cool thanks for watching i don't know why you would there's way better videos than this especially the uh, check out that gen x grown-up guy that guy is a genius um but you know if you enjoyed this watch some other ones i got and uh if not please don't please don't look a little unlike you think come on what is, does it hit did it hurt you did it hurt you did anybody force you to watch this i didn't anyway thanks for watching if you did if you didn't what are you gonna do Laters.